Well, welcome back to the craft session of the Moses lesson that we're learning. And I thought what we could do today that would be fun and not too involved would be to make a picture of Moses actually when he's in the Nile River crossing through before he reaches Pharaoh's daughter, the princess. And I just came up with this and I'm going to show you, all right, pretty simple. Pretty straightforward. Okay, you see Moses in the little basket. You see the little crocodile there? You see the greens? Okay, we learned about those papyrus reeds. I mean, you can make them however you want to, but I'm gonna show you how the, I did these. And then we put a little Bible verse on the top, and it's Psalm 121, eight. And this is what it reads. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. And I think that really applies to Moses. I mean, he really, I mean, honestly, Honestly, God had to be watching over him to have him survive what he went through. So we're going to make this today. And what you're going to need is just some construction paper. So you can have blue for the water and also would be for the sky. And then green for the reeds, okay, for the grass on the sides of the, the Nile River bank. All right. And I'm going to show you how I did this. I actually took a piece of green construction paper and I folded it in half. All right. Now, and then you cut that but I have the other half, so I'm gonna use it right now. And once you cut that in half, you'll have this piece, and then you're gonna fold it again in lengthwise in half again, all right? And we, we've learned this through some of the other lessons that we have done, how to do this, and it just makes it much easier. You can actually make the reeds separately if you want to, but I find that if you fold it over, once you make your cuts, you're good to go for the next time. All right, you don't have to do two of them. All right, so we went through, we folded it in half, all right, and it doesn't have to be perfect, all right? And then you'll go through and you'll start to cut. And what you're gonna do is you're going to cut little zigzags through here. Um, let me just see how we did this. We're gonna start on this side, and again, have a mom or an older sibling help you if you need help for this. And we're gonna fold it in half, like I said, and then keep the open end on the bottom here that you're gonna be cutting into. So you're gonna start in and you're gonna to start to cut, like perhaps they wanna go like this. Cut all the way through. But don't cut all the way down to the bottom, all right? Because that's gonna be that part that's still attached. And you can make some thinner than others. You can make some kind of straight however you want to make your reeds look. And this just takes a little bit of time because you'll be going back and forth zigzagging through here. So just bear with me and we're gonna cut through. And I'll show you what it looks like at the end. Are you getting this? You understanding how we're doing this? We're cutting all the way through on the top, but not the bottom, because that's going to be your base. We're almost done. You can make some shorter than others. You can make some longer, however you want to do it. So then you can put all these little pieces on the side because you're not going to need those. But when you hold this, now you have two identical pieces. So this will work beautifully when you go to put it on your background. You'll have one on the bottom and you'll glue that on. And you'll have one on the top, like a little bit further up. So that will represent your little Nile River, all right, if you can see that. All right, see how we're doing this? Okay, so then what we want to do next is make the little picture of our baby Moses in his basket. And I am not the most creative drawer here in the world, so I'm sure you can probably make a basket that looks nicer than mine, but do however you want to. And I'm going to do mine with this marker just because I know it shows up better, and my studio producer will be very pleased with me when he sees me doing it this way. So we're going to just go like this, and we're going to just make a little, almost like a little, um, a half circle in a way, and you're going to bring it down. And that will be your basket, and then just go right across. And then 
Can you see, it almost looks like a, a bowl or a basket. You can make that out. And then what I did is I just made some little lines across it just to kind of give you that pattern that a basket would make, all right? Go through. And then you can color that, and you can pick like browns or whatever color you like. You can do different shades of brown if you want to, but I just want to kind of show you how I did this, just quickly. All right, and then you're gonna cut that out. All right, that's gonna be your little basket that's going to sit in the water. And you can spend time on it. You can make your basket fancier if you want to. You make it however you want to. Now for what I did when I did this, I actually kind of cut into it so I could kind of make it look like the baby was actually sitting inside the basket. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to. I just did it because I thought it would be more realistic, a little more fun. And then what you need to do next is make a little, like I have a little, um, almost like a little blanket that you're gonna put on top of the baby. So I went through and I just did something like this, just to kind of give it a little bit of a form to represent a little bit of a blanket and then a circle for the baby's head. All right, that's gonna be your little baby's head. And then you're gonna cut those out as well. And you can color those. I think I have yellow on mine. You can color it however you want to. Um, if you have some markers, they might work nicer so you can see the definition a little bit better. Make it almost like it has little fringes on it. I'll try this yellow because this one might actually make it a little deeper. To make it more fun. All right, so we'll do that for our blanket. And I think skin tone crayons are always nice for the face. So we'll just make it a nice little peach color. And again, I'm gonna put a little smiley face on this baby because I don't know about you, but I think I'd be very happy if I were Moses because he ends up in a nice palace. All right, we'll put a little tuft of hair there for him too. All right, and we're gonna just cut this out. Little head out. And you can be as creative as you want to be. I mean, I'm just kind of going through making a simple little picture here, but I know some of you are so creative. So if you come up with a little idea and you make your own little Moses um, in the little river, please share it with me. And, I'm, and I know I dropped some of my my greenery here so we have to pick that up and this is where you're going to need to do some gluing just to get our baby in the basket you can use your your wonderful stick glues here they work beautifully just put a little bit of glue on the back side of it and, I, and this is where I kind of tucked him inside that basket a little bit it just kind of makes it look a little more realistic Tuck him in there and then put a little glue on his head. And there you are with his little head sitting there, like that. So there's your little, there's your little basket, and you have it ready to go. And then you're gonna glue your greens on here. And you can do it however you want to, but I'm just just make it simple like this. We're gonna just put a little glue on the bottom because those green tops can actually be loose because they are little reeds. They will move, so we can just put them like this. And then you're gonna put your baby in there. Find a spot, you can sneak it underneath and glue that. And 
under there. And then put some more on the top. Right about here. Okay, and again, you're gonna glue that on as well. So just take your time if you want it. I'm just gonna do it like this this time, just to make it work a little bit better for us. There's different ways of doing this. So you do however works best for you. Okay, just take that, slide it under just a little bit so it looks a little more realistic that it might perhaps be a little river, the Nile River that he's floating in. And then again, if you want to get creative, I went online because I am not an artist and I found a little, I googled a crocodile's little face. So it shows you how to make a little crocodile face and I actually did one here. So you're, you're basically starting with a little circle and you're gonna do a little loop here, a little loop on the top, come right around, that, make a little ziggies, little nose, come around, little mouth, and this is where you can put little teeth in to make it look like it's a realistic little crocodile. And crocodiles, I noticed they, they actually are like an olive green or a brown color, so you can color that in. And that'll be your little crocodile. And you could do a couple of them if you want to, just to make it fun. And you can put him in the water as well. And if you'd like to put that Bible scripture in there, please do. As I said, it's Psalm 121, 8. And again, it's the Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore. And I made that as it was a little cloud in the sky. But again, you use your creativity and make it as special as you want it to be and we're going to continue to learn about Moses next week and we'll have more little crafts and activities to do pertaining to Moses's life so in the meantime if you make one of these please like I said share it with us we'd love to see it all right so we're going to put this little guy right in here because he looks like he might want to get to the baby. But we know that God is watching over Moses and protecting him. But until I see you next time, as I said, you can put that little Bible scripture in there as a little cloud if you want to, or just make it a little square, however you want to. But you have your little baby Moses in the basket going through the Nile River, all right? But have fun with it. And until I see you next week with another lesson pertaining to Moses, have fun and God bless.